Yo, day 72 of the lockdown. Never any story that looks like it's coming to an end. Pretty soon. Uh, happy, hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, but it's Tuesday. And my podcast came out today. Uh, I had Kevin Hart on this week's episode. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, but I was as I was talking to Kevin in my podcast, it reminded me of... You know, I'm doing the lockdown series. I'm doing a little story every day. Just, uh, I don't know, keep me occupied. You guys seem to enjoy it, so I keep doing it. And I, but I, re after I got off the podcast with Kevin, I was thinking, man, I remember a month ago, two months ago, I was getting ready to do one of my lockdown stories about Snoop. And I'm not lying. As I'm about to tell the story, I look on social media and I see Kevin is doing Confessions from the Heart. He was doing it every now and then. And he did a story about smoking weed with Snoop. And I was like, well, what the fuck? I was about to do a Snoop weed story, which I'm sure 90% of entertainers have a Snoop weed story. Uh, but I'm going to tell mine. I figure it's a good time now. I thought I just remembered it after I was talking to Kevin. I was like, oh, I never did tell my Snoop story. So here's my smoking weed with Snoop story. BET Awards 2014. We I'm at this after party. Uh, I don't know, some some club hotel in downtown LA somewhere. And Snoop's got a, a section, he's got like a little circle, right? Right in the it was weird, it was like right in the middle of the club too. Like got this circle. And he's got his people with him. And I, like, get summoned to the circle. Like, like somebody came over and goes, Hey, Gary, um, come over and say hi to Snoop. I said, okay. And I had seen him a couple times, but I hadn't really met him, met him. So I come over, and she was like, Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Gary. He goes, I know who you is, cuz. <laughs> That's the first thing he said. I know who you is, cuz. And then the, the, the weed circle was happening. The, the Now, keep in mind, I'm sitting right next to Snoop. And there's about, let's say, 10 guys in the circle. And the joint's coming around. And it go, and I never smoked weed before this in my life, right? Not, not as an adult, I'll put it that way. When I was real young, I tried it. And I'll tell that story later. But uh, when I say young, I mean like five. I got weed. I got I got a bong passed to me when I was five. That's a whole nother story. But uh, uh, as an adult or anything else, I never smoked weed since then. And all of a sudden, it, this, the the joint goes from Snoop's lips, passes it over to me. And I'm like, oh, shit. I can't say no. I feel like I was disrespecting the circle. So then I smoked it. And I'm not, I'm not Bill Clinton. I inhaled. And then I sat there and motherfucker came back again. So I had to smoke it again. And uh, I just remember looking around and then for some reason I was, I'm trying to be cool. I don't know what was in the weed, but I'm trying to be cool with it. And then I just started dancing like a wild man on the dance floor. And my buddy, I think uh, Brad was there. Joe Torrey was there. I remember Joe and a couple other people. And they was like, is Gary dancing? Because I don't really get on dance floor and dance. And, uh, but I would dance like a fool. Like, I was, I was dancing to songs that don't go together. I was doing, like, the Roger Rabbit to pop that pussy. Didn't make any sense. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, remember I danced forever. And then I was really, really hungry afterwards. Like, really hungry. Like, I think we went to Jack in the Box and McDonald's. That was weird. I got, I said, I want, I want tacos and fries. But I want a McDonald's fries with Jack in the Box tacos. So we got both. Uh, so, yeah. So, not a crazy story, but that was my first time smoking weed, really. And uh, I felt like I had to because Snoop passed me the joint. You can't say no to Snoop. Come on now. If you're going to do it the first time, it's got to be with Snoop. That's all I'm saying. And I don't mind those apples in the back. Those are my wife's apples. She drove two hours to get those two apples. So let's take a good look at those apples. Those are good looking apples though. Four hours, two hours an apple. It was four hours total, two hours or two hours back. All right, y'all. Well, tomorrow's uh, Wednesday. So it's crazy stepdad story time. And I'll see you guys then. All right.